Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 5, Episode 3. There's some scary paintings in this episode. I don't know what to do about those feelings. Let's get started. The first model up is Eddie Hall. He's a celebrity media presenter, and in the past he was a strong man known for lifting 1,100 pounds in a dead lift. 1,100 pounds? How is that possible? Anyway, when you see his physique, you, it's just uh, incredible. So, uh, and they put him in, in front of pink. That's kind of adorable. All right, four hours after the artists begin, they turn their easels around and we get to see Eddie's reaction to these paintings and he's gonna take one home, which has nothing to do with the final judging. All right, here's the first one up. I mean, this man is a granite, titanium <laughs> human being. He's just so incredibly enormous and solid. It, it's, it's amazing. But anyway, uh, that didn't seem to intimidate the painters. This is a good likeness of what the artist was seeing. Nicely done. Just uh, beautiful. You know, I'm just going to say really, really nicely done. And now we've pulled back and it reads nicely when you pull back. Uh, this one, um, uh, all I can say about this one is I just find the coloring kind of odd. Now, doing a face head-on like that is always super hard. You know, when you have the angles, it's so much easier. And I love value color swap outs. I guess I'm just not crazy about this particular palette. On the other hand, it does reflect sort of a strong and dynamic personality and physique. And so it's a really nice interpretation of who she saw or who he saw sitting in front of him. So I don't have a problem with this one. And they anchored him in. Thank you, thank you, thank you for anchoring the shoulders in. I much appreciate that. It's, it's a nice composition, very direct. Now, the last, oh, and we pull back. Oh, it, it's much larger than I thought it was. It has his tattoos. It's always fun to see the model looking at himself. That's kind of cool. So, so far we're, we're off to a pretty strong start. We have two good paintings. This one, I couldn't help it. This one, I just kept thinking, Henry VIII, right? Oh my gosh, it looks so much like Henry VIII. <laughs> or what I think of Henry VIII looking like. This is just a strong painting. It's, it's very strong and kind of like perfect choices for color as well. That pink is, is not a sweet pink at all. And it, it, it just... Everything just kind of goes really well. You know, it's kind of like if you're going to make your color choices on your palette, you want to have chords. Yeah, when we pull back, it works as well. You know, chords that go together, whereas the previous painting didn't have chords, or maybe the kind of chords that you would play in jazz. Something was uh, just a little off for me. But this one, I'm very comfortable with this one, and now we will see which one he chooses to take home. But this is a strong field to choose from. Eddie got, got lucky today. Let's see which one he picks. He picks, oh, he picked this one. Nice choice, I agree. That, that I would be very happy to have that in my home. I love the work in the eyes, carefully done. Really beautiful, beautiful job. Now the next model up is James Purefoy. He is an actor and of course, once again, we have a very handsome fella. <laughs> to look at. Uh, I don't know what was going on with the background here. They put like these quotes with nothing in them behind him, but I don't know that the background makes a difference anymore. The, the artists almost never incorporate the backgrounds into their paintings, so we'll just move on from that. So let's see what happens next. All right, four hours after the program begins, the artists turn their easels around and we get to see what James gets to see and what he's going to pick. I love this painting. I love this painting. I love this painting. I love this painting. Uh, what do you what do you say when someone just hits the, the painting right out of the ballpark? It looks like him. She mixed her blues with her oranges to use contrasting colors to full effect. She's got hard and soft edges. She's got a mood going on. Everything about this is so competent and beautifully and sensitively done. 
even that little bit of pink on the back of his shirt. Look at the blue that she incorporated into the, the um, not you know the whites of the eyes. This is this is someone who's been observing things for a very 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 long time, and boy, does she. I just think her choices, her, her artistic choices were exquisite. Here's the second one. This one I, I, don't, I don't like as well. It uh, Does it look like him? Probably not. Not the same as the first one did. And there's something about it that is, um, you know, there's a certain stiffness to it. Actually, this is a really good painting. The problem is the one that I saw before. The one was so relaxed and it was so competent and this one feels a little bit more like um uh, yeah you see we pull back and that that just doesn't do much for me at all it's just uh, so it i just want to say it for me it's like benign there's nothing great about it nothing wrong with it this is the one that was disturbing to me i find this disturbing the reason i find it disturbing is just because this is how this artist sees the world and it's it's weird. It's just weird. I can't even begin to know how to talk about it. I mean, obviously, it doesn't look like him. Proportions are all bizarre and weird. But, um, I, I mean, all, all right, let's, you know, the judges are always looking for something different. This is certainly different. So, you know, we wouldn't want to watch a program where every single painting that came up looked exactly the same, but this is Portrait Artist of the Year. This doesn't look like him, and it's, it's, it's just, ugh, I just don't enjoy it. Let's see which one he picks. He picks, uh, oh, he picked this one. I would have picked this one, too. I love this painting. I love this painting. It doesn't matter who it's of. It stands up as an excellent painting, not just a portrait of... James Purefoy. That's just darn good painting, darn good mixing, exquisite choices. Oh boy, when I paint today, this will be in my mind. Now, the next one up is Jody Kidd. She was a model, and now she's a TV presenter of some kind as well. So, you know, she's very tall and has that model physique. And um, yeah, so this this will be fun. Let's see what happens. So, four hours in, the artists turn their easels around and we get to see what they did. Let me tell you something, this was a scary group for me. Really scary, and I'm not even sure how I'm going to talk about this group. But, it's my job, I volunteered for it, and so we will move ahead. Here's the first one, the proportions are wrong, they're just wrong. What are you going to do? I mean, it, it, it has a resemblance to her but something in the face is sort of collapsed in the lower part. The, the head is not the, the right dimensions. It, it has some problems. And we pull away a little bit. It's, it's a nice, uh, I can't even say it's nice because I can't get over the proportions. It's, it, it, it suffers from that. So let's move on. Now when you pull back, it's, it's a little bit better. I mean, but by a little bit better, I mean that's all I can say is it's a little bit better. It, it's, um, boy, compared to what we've seen so far in this episode, we've seen some great paintings. This one, this is an enigma to me. Four hours in. Four hours in, could, could, we, could we get an eye socket? Could we get some lips and some nostrils? I mean, we're not, not asking for much. But this is obviously not a fully realized painting. I love where he's going, but, and, I, you know, detail in there. It's nice work. But I have a feeling maybe he just, and this can happen to all artists, you know, you're painting along, and then you just don't know what decisions to make next, and you get kind of scared, and then you just end up fiddling and fiddling and fiddling around with paint and not getting anywhere. We've all done it. And maybe that's what happened to him today. I don't know. But I don't know how to judge a work that's so unfinished. This is the last one. And even the judges said this was sort of on the side of cartoony. It's definitely weird. I know different styles and all of that. Oh, those eyes. Those eyes. 
I, those are the kind of eyes of someone who's extremely frightened, you know, when you can see the whites kind of all around the eye, the pupils. You don't do that. <laughs> Make your eyes sunk into the uh, eye socket, if you could, please. It's a little better from far away, but it doesn't look like her. It's more of a cartoony kind of weird painting for me. So jody has got a tough pick. She, I mean, there's only one that, that I could even stand to have in my house, so I think that's the one she's going to pick. But she drew the short straw in this episode. And yes, this is the one she picks. And I think if it could have had more time, maybe this painting could have been finished and been a nice painting. But he had four hours. There was time. There was, there was definitely time. I just think he couldn't, couldn't get it done. Or what can happen also in art is, you know, you need to walk away and come back. You need a fresh look. All right, semifinal judging. What we do in the semifinal judging is that we have all the artists lined up, and they're going to pick three of these people to go into what they call their, their finals today. Or, yeah, this would be their semifinals, and then there'll be a, a winner at the end of this program, and the winner goes on to the semifinals. All right, the first one up is King Henry VIII, <laughs> which, which I agree with. That's, that's just a fine painting. The next one up, yeah, that's a fine painting too. I don't have a problem with this being in the semifinals. It is more, it feels a little bit more amateurish than the one that I would have picked. And the one that I'm, I'm, I'm picking as the winner is this one. Hashtag Joe is always wrong and I will be wrong again. But this is to me the hands down winner above every other painting that we saw today. It's just, she just nailed it. It's beautifully done, but uh, I've already given away the surprise, the element of surprise by letting you know that I'm disappointed. All right, here now we have the digital self-portrait on the left that they submit to get on the program and then the picture that they did today on the right. The one on the left, they have unlimited time to do. And then the one on the right, as you know, is done in four hours. So it's fun to compare the two styles to see what would they do if they had unlimited time. I, I don't have a problem with either one of these paintings, but they're not, they're not floating my boat. Whereas these two, I, I want to follow this woman. I want to know everything about her life. I'm completely obsessed. I, I know, I know there's a dog in the portrait and that probably has something to do with it. I admit anytime a dog or a puppy shows up, I'm just a puddle on the floor, but it's beautiful painting. So let's see what happens. Oh, and not much of a difference between the one she had all, you know, all the time in the world to do and the one she did today. Now this one's more like photorealism. So the one on the left clearly shows that she will show more depth and detail when she has more time as she does on the self-portrait on the left. Looked exactly like her as well. And then the one that, that she did today, which is a, a really fine piece of work. So we're going to find out which one is going to win. But before we do that, it must be excruciating for these artists who've had an exhausting day. But what they do is they line up the three next to the work that they did today, and then they will announce the winner. Now look at all three. Which one would you pick? I guess they're all fine, but I, I know which one I love. The winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Surprise! Not my choice. It's this one. Again, I don't get it. It's nothing wrong with it, but it was not the strongest piece. And at one point, one of the judges said he could tell. He could tell she had more in her because this one had soul and depth and she would bring it to the finals with her. I don't know what he saw that made him say that. Anyway, we'll go on to the next episode. Remember to keep the white sheet paper white, your paint's wet, and as for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up, although I'm sure no one stayed <laughs> the entire length of this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.